goodness, I'm winded. I feel like I should ask you guys how you're doing, but it's comics. So I don't know the protocol now. I don't know how to do crowd work with comics, so I won't. I, uh, why is the creepiest thing to find always a kid's object where it shouldn't be? For instance, I found a child's toothbrush in a strip club. Bathroom. No reason for that. That's the, uh, that's the end of the fun part of my set. It's where the, the jovial humor ends. You guys are ready to get raw? Like, what are you gonna say? Like, no, do something else. Uh, it's gonna be a little personal now. I'm going through a bit of a divorce. Thank you. Make sure the awkward silence, a chuckle, and stare. I don't want this to impact your votes, but I could really use that money. <laughs> Kill trip got me through the first round. I, uh, I'm going through the worst kind of divorce, amicable. We talk every day, we still really love each other. It sucks because it's terrible for stand-up, and messy divorces are fun. We care about each other too much. I can't even make fun of her. I try. When I left, our last fight when I left, I, uh, I tried to throw a burn at her. It didn't work. I said, you couldn't pick my dick out of a lineup. Which raised more questions than it answered. A couple things. <laughs> Am I attached to my dick? Is my dick just off committing crimes? And if my dick is in a lineup, is it with other dicks or people? Because if my dick is in a lineup with other criminals, you could probably pick it out. It's the dick. Someone that's not a person. You don't have to know my dick that well. I, uh, to keep the alliterative nature of my set going, because I was going to forget it, laundry. I, uh, since I'm not going to trash my wife, I will talk about some of the changes uh, since we split up. One is I found I am profoundly useless in most practical skills. One being laundry. I haven't done laundry in 15 years. So I had a plan. Gonna go to work. Gonna act all helpless. I work mostly with women. This is gonna be a little offensive. I will. Maybe a lot. I work mostly with women. I figured, you know what, I'm just gonna be helpless. Yeah, helpless Jordan. I'm gonna charm them. You know what, all those gals at work. Those gals are going to volunteer to help me do my laundry. Perfect strategy. Two problems. One, turns out women don't like being called gals. Two, I'm not that charming. So, I turned this shirt inside out. I, uh, <laughs> I was encouraged to try dating. Do plenty of fish. I'm going to tell you guys something. The last 14 years, I have spent in two relationships, two marriages, and uh, I'm 34 years old, and my Plenty of Fish profile reads like this, things Jordan likes, club sandwiches, things he's good at, ruining marriages, <laughs> nobody's biting, <laughs> amazing way. I'm uh, not really sure uh, if my hand is supposed to change color periodically throughout the week, I think I'm a little malnourished. I had a friend come over, because I don't grocery shop, I mostly eat fast food. I had a friend come over, she's a health nut, she exercises and eats vegetables and avoids scurvy. So I said, take a look at my pantry, please. Tell me what I'm missing. Here's what my pantry looked like. Top shelf, four cans of beef only. Second shelf, Reese's Pieces. Next shelf, Reese's Pieces cereal. <laughs> and a banana. And she just looks at me and says, you have diabetes. <laughs> Which is something I'm not used to hearing outside of a gypsy curse. It's like you just say to somebody, unless they're John Goodman. John Goodman's not here, right? I'm good with that. It's given me time to uh, watch things my wife did not want to watch. Big fan of People's Court now. God damn. What I love about People's Court is that no matter how they're dressed, it's what they think dressing up is supposed to look like. Jorts and sandals? Yeah, that works. That works in court. 
Anyone watch wrestling? It's gonna go terribly. Terribly now. This, this joke entirely depends on wrestling knowledge, which is why I'm gonna do it. I, um, I've been watching a lot of wrestling. I watched a match from 1984 with Roddy Piper and Hulk Hogan. Roddy Piper and Hulk Hogan. Great match. Great match. But the best part were the signs in the crowd. Like, there was all the Hulk Hogan signs like, Go Hulk! Or USA! Great signs. Totally appropriate. And then there was the signs for Roddy Piper. Boo Roddy! Roddy sucks! Totally appropriate. Then there was a guy in the front row that had a sign. Roddy Piper has AIDS. This is 1984. If you shared an elevator with Freddie Mercury, you had AIDS. So you really had to hate someone to wish it on him. So it was either someone that hated Roddy, or like the worst doctor of all time giving him the test results. Like, I could call him. Fuck it, I'll just see him at the show. Roddy, you got AIDS. They say end big. I say fuck that. Ladies and gentlemen, I'm Jordan Allen. <laughs> Smiling and crying at the same time.